living the dream. Today's video focuses on living the dream. In addition to being an author, a mentor, a motivational speaker, and so forth, I also do a little security consulting. And right now I'm working at an office. And in the office, you know, I greet the people as they come in, check bags and stuff. Typical office security stuff. And as the people come in, I get some standard or traditional greetings. You know, good morning, good afternoon, how are you, how, how's your day? But then I also get some non-traditional or some greetings that would not be viewed as standard, such as happy Monday. I don't even know how you respond to that. Happy Monday to you, I don't know. You know, TGIF, you know, a lot of people say that, so that's kind of standard. But then there's one greeting that a couple guys say that, that seem to be a little peculiar to me. They kind of you know, stuck out as odd to me. And it's living a dream. And I realized that, that both of these gentlemen are sort of being tongue-in-cheek, kind of coy, just sarcastically saying they're living a dream. But then as I thought about it more, I started to really look a little deeper at that, at that, that saying and thought about how many people are really living a dream. How many people wake up and in the morning it's, good morning, Lord, and excited to get up and get moving. As opposed to, oh Lord, it's morning. Man. How many people's commute uh, as they drive into work or ride the train or, or the bus into work? It, it's filled with, I'm looking forward to getting to work so I can make a difference, so I can make some changes. As opposed to, oh God, I hate my job, I hate my boss, I can't stand my coworkers, I gotta get out of this place. How many people? Feel that, that, that negative feeling, even the night before, as you start to prepare for work. How many people are living the dream? Or are we living a nightmare? I thought about it a little more, and, and actually, a, a popular comedian, Tony Roberts, has a little bit where he talks about having a plan A versus a plan B. And in this bit, he says, everybody needs a plan B. And he says, you want to know why? Think about what you wanted to be when you were a little kid. I bet you're not doing that right now. Plan B is kicked in. And, and I'm not here to argue whether having a plan A only or a plan A and plan B is important. Because I realize, I understand that both schools of thought are plan A only means you're only focused on that plan. Having a plan B gives you a safety valve to fall back on and you may not be going 100% at plan A. I get it. So we're not here to focus on that. We're here to focus on, are you living the dream? When you wake up, are you excited about going to work or excited about making a change in your life and someone else's life? Or are you just going through the motion? Are you really walking in your calling, utilizing your God-given gifts, letting the anointing flow through you and helping other people? Or are you just going through the motion? Are you just existing? Are you merely here, checking them off one day to the next? Are you living a life that you know you're making a difference? You're making changes. You're positively affecting other people. When you wake up, is everything you do geared towards your dream, your goals, your success, using your anointing? Or are you just waking up 24 hours, the day is gone, on to the next one? When you live that dream, then you're recognizing the fulfillment of why God created you, and also the anointing of being able to bless other people, being able to be successful, and as I always say, lift as you climb. As you climb to the top, lifting someone else up, helping them along their journey to success. And if you're not living that dream, then you're just going through the motions, you're just here, and it might even be said that you're wasting time. I'm going to leave you with one thought. When you think about your life, you think about your existence. You think about what you're doing. Are you making a difference? Are you helping others? Are you striving towards success? And are you being great? If you can say you're doing those things, the chances are you're living the dream. But if you're not, then it's time to take a look in the mirror, take an assessment of where you are, analyze your life and where you want to be. Because the bottom line is this. If you're not waking up every day, striving towards living your dream, then more than likely, you're helping somebody else live theirs. 